I want to say, you know, take some personal responsibility. Look at yourself. Look at what you are doing. Look at who you are. And look at what role you play in the world, you know? I know that there were some of you that felt that I was a bit harsh in my last video. I know and understand why you feel like my last video was hurtful. And I am sorry if you feel like I was attacking you in my last video. I want to take this opportunity to share why I made this video and why I decided to publish it. Because I'll be honest, I wasn't sure I was going to publish it. Truth be told, I recorded that video more than three weeks ago. And you know why I made that video? You know why I felt so <laughs> provoked by uh, that statement? Why I found it so difficult, so upsetting to hear an INFP talk about themselves like that? You know, because truth be told, sometimes when I listen to INFPs, I see what you're saying to yourself and I see why you're saying it to yourself. INFPs, they are capable of being incredibly mean towards themselves. And I've talked about this in other videos. I've talked about how INFPs beat themselves down. I've talked about how INFPs say a lot of things about themselves in order to hurt themselves. And I want people to become more mindful about this. I want you to recognize what that you are saying when you are saying that you feel cursed. I want you to understand what you are saying when you say that you wish you were another personality type. I want you to understand what you are saying when you say that you wish that you were somebody else. You know, during dark days, it's so easy to go down that dark path of diminishing your own self-worth. It's so easy to attack yourself, to turn that pain or that sadness or that lack of energy or that sense of failure into an opportunity to attack or hurt yourself. It's so easy when you're down a dark path to continue down that dark path. There is like a gravity pulling you down. When you see the abyss, it's so easy to get that sense of vertigo, that sense that I'm going to fall and then that sense of wanting to fall and that sense of wanting to keep going down that hole and that sense of just wanting to surrender to the gravity of that negativity, of that pain, of that harshness. However, I think there is a good and bad way to honor your own feelings and to honor where you are without hurting yourself and without diminishing your own self-worth. In this video, I want to talk to you about how you can engage in depressive episodes and how you can go through dark spirals and how you can deal with that gravity and that feeling of wanting to, well, not, not even wanting to, but just feel like you have no choice but to go down a dark path. Because melancholy is real, darkness is real, pain is real, suffering is real. We are all going to have dark days. We're all going to wake up sometimes feeling like we have no energy, like there is no point, like there is no purpose. We're all going to feel like there are things, regrets, things we should have done differently, things that we could have approached another way. And we're going to feel bad about things. We're going to think about and reflect on missed opportunities and lost goals. We're going to think about things we wish that we could do. And we're going to find ourselves dreaming and hoping and wishing that we were able to do things that we just cannot bring ourselves to do. When we have dark episodes, I think it's very important to just go through and experience your emotions without a feeling of needing to act on those emotions. What, I, what that means is just be aware that I am having a dark episode or I'm struggling with something or I'm feeling hurt about something or I'm feeling pain about something. Right, this is difficult for me. I feel pain over losing out on that opportunity or I feel bad about this relationship ending or I feel bad about this not working out or I feel bad about or I feel regret about not doing this or that yesterday you know or I wish that I had more energy you know go down and recognize that you're having those thoughts and just listen to those thoughts right so I am having regrets right so I am going through a difficult time right so I am struggling Right, so I don't have any energy. 
it's important to go through those paths and to recognize that you're having those emotions. And I never want you to feel like you're not allowed to have those emotions. You're, you're allowed to share pain and to talk about struggles. However, I think you need to make a rule for yourself to never be mean to yourself. What that means is never be unfair, never be harsh, and never diminish your own self-worth. What I mean with this is you have no choice but to act like you are a person worthy of love and care. You have no choice but to be your own parent, to be your own supportive figure, to be your own cheerleader, the person that can look at yourself and to go, okay, the only person that's going to get me out of bed today is myself. The only person that's going to help me out of the spiral is myself. The only person that I can look to at this point uh, for love and understanding, first and foremost, that's myself. That has to be myself. I have to look to and first of all start with myself. What is it I can bring myself? What is it I can do to support myself through this difficult time, through this dark episode? If I don't have any energy, if I don't have any friends, if I don't know what my purpose is, what can I do to care for and support myself through this situation? Recognize that you can be both your own destruction and your own savior. What that means is you can be uh, the person that is acting out, the bully that you... Uh, visualize you can be the bully that beats down on yourself that tells you how stupid you are how wrong you are how bad you are how insufficient you are or you can be the person that loves yourself that supports yourself that cheers you on that sees your how you fight that sees what you do that sees your effort that sees your potential recognize that you can be both these things and Recognize, okay, what do I need to do right now in order to get me out of this? What can I say to help myself deal with this situation? What can I say to help myself through this moment? Now, I want you to understand something. And that is that I love INFPs. I uh, see how you fight and I see how you care. And I can say that to you and I can say that I do these things. But the only person that can acknowledge those things is you. The only person that can understand what that means is you. I can say those things, but you have to learn to feel it. You have to learn to accept it. And you have to learn to appreciate it. That process of self-love, that's your process. I can say what I see. And I can say how I see it. But you are the one that has to take and think about these things. And feel it for yourself. Now, the thing I really love most about INFPs is 